So, it's day 10. A little bit cooler today, a bit of clouds in the sky, but still a beautiful day out here. And it looks like it'll clear up during the day. Yesterday was a very interesting day. We took a couple of, uh, they weren't shortcuts, but they cut outs, I think. Ted cut outs, I think they're called. Ted likes to call them. Um, the first one was, we knew it was marginal, there was just a bit of water in it, and uh, that got very interesting. We, uh, we, we, we bottomed out a couple of times, but that was okay, we got off that and then uh, came across an area with, with roots cutting across the, the creek that we had to kind of drag the canoe over. Well, one of us had to get out of the canoe and drag it over, while the other one sat there issuing instructions. The other one had a fat ass, refused to get out of the tinny. Good move, I reckon. Put his, put his paddle in the uh, stream to push help push the canoe and uh, there it remained then drag the uh go the roots and drag the canoe to look back and see his paddle sticking out the middle of this lake okay, that's David. all right ted was already in the water so you have to go back and get it so fortunately we got that one on, uh, part of that on video on the gopro but uh, yesterday in, in my endeavors to drag the uh, canoe over the roots i managed to snap the uh the mount on the sony front of the, the canoe and it seems like we've all lost lost all the footage on that particular one which is a bit of a shame because it, it would have been an interesting little little sojourn. Yes. The, the next uh, cut out was I thought it'd be bone dry and it was uh, deep and beautiful. Yeah so the cutouts are where because as you know with the rivers coming up big time and so as it gets to a point these little gullies and these gullies cut out and over the years and years as they flow through a bit of stream at the top of the flood they get deeper and deeper. As the river comes up there are these cutouts that actually go and you can see they're just across the ground. They might only have a metre in them, six, six inches of water and whatever. But you can get around, you can see a lot more and uh, uh, usually the water's running quite fast through them. So just a point of interest, so we, we pick them out and sneak through those if we can. Problem is, if you get almost to the river on the other side and they're blocked with logs, you've got to go and paddle back. It's a bit of a bath. But no, We haven't uh, had to do that apart from the rocks on the earlier days. Yeah. So, so a wonderful we, day. We, we met, uh, we met uh, Michael. Um, and his beloved and, wife. And his, and his missus, and I'm sorry, oh, I can't remember her name, but um, briefly on the side of the... The, the river at a, uh, a caravan area, but it's quite it says there's quite a lot of people obviously drive in from either north or the south and southern roads into camping areas on the side of the river. But of course, because of COVID, I guess uh, at the moment would be ideal, but there's not many people here at all, so we've really got the place to ourselves. Interesting at the, uh, the, the campground where, where Michael and his, his missus were, the Darling River campground on the northern side of the river. There was a uh, old log that looked like it had been marked and was surrounded by very heavy steel stockyard fencing. There was no, no notices or anything, but uh, presumably it was some tree of historical significance. Well, they built a 200mm uh, uh, pipe that had been driven into the ground and it's literally that far apart little thing around this log that was lying on the ground so it was hard to work out exactly what all that meant but no doubt of some significance the river's coming up um, looking forward to getting in the water today we'll be tearing along there's a lot more trees in the middle from behind the camera I'm looking at now there's a whole stand of trees in the middle of the river makes it a bit more interesting a bit more exciting um, lots of different things happening I think yesterday, well, apart from the cutouts, the other highlight, of course, was there's a three emus were following us along the bank. They clearly had never seen a canoe before. They uh, weren't running away, but they're just pacing alongside, having a good look at us, like emus do. And uh, that was really good that that, uh, that we had just just see them. So yeah, another day in paradise. Just absolutely beautiful. Um, we had five percent chance of rain today, which is nothing it won't rain and uh, understand there's about another eight days of beautiful skies uh, and happy camping let's go for it